and welcome everybody. It is a lovely Sunday morning and time to spend some quality time doing a little project with me today. So I hope you're going to be excited to take part. If you're new to my channel, a very warm welcome if this is your very first time. And of course, it's lovely to have all of you here again. Right, let's get started. I've got my book open or my journal signature open on the page that I'm going to put my little project in today. And it is a super quick one. So not much time uh, to spend here at all although I love spending time with you but I know Sundays is often family time for people so you know if it was winter I'd be making a roast dinner but it's we're heading into summer although it's a quite a gloomy day today it's not cold really not too bad right um, I'm going to put a little project over here and today I'm going to use a paper bag now I'm not going to give you um, exact dimensions just approximates because um, paper bags are available in so many size I would sizes I would say that the most important bit here is that it's going to fit onto your page comfortably so that's what I would suggest so let's get started I'll put that to the side over there I've got this particular paper bag I got this off Amazon it could be a white bag a brown bag it's whatever you guys have all right um, I will tell you that this is nine and a half inches in length um, and it has got a gusset so it is a gusseted bag like this um, and the width is five inches all right so that's about 12 and a half and I think I'm not so good on the conversion of the centimeter tw 24 and a half centimeters but as I said as long as when you put it onto your page this bit here is actually going to fit and there's the, the the edge there so that just gives me about a quarter or quarter of an inch on each side or about a centimeter there or thereabouts all right so that's the most important we are going to fold it so don't worry about the length and you can always trim that down all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my ruler my pencil and i am going to trim off this bag all right so what i want to do is is i want to take it it lies like this and you've got this gusseted piece like this now the bit that's lying close to the top here so not this part of the gusset the bit that's flapping over i actually want to trim that off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just tilt it this way and you can see the actual fold lines here you want to get that as close to the fold line as possible now I can tell you because I've done this already and made the mistake you don't want to cut it too far down because you're going to cut the flap and catch this bit underneath here which you do not want to do so I will be using my scissors the first time I did it with my craft knife and um, that wasn't a good idea <laughs> So I'm going to take my scissors where I can see what I'm doing and here I can see when I lift it up that I'm not going to catch this piece so you don't want to catch that bit. Alright so let's cut that through here like that on that line so it's just in the fold line itself. We will have to do some other trimmings but this is the first one that you need to do. So yeah, just watch for that one behind. Right, so let's see if I loosened it on all fronts, pretty much. So now you can see we still have it attached to the back of the bag there, but we've made an opening over there. All right, now um, <clears throat> on the side here, I'm going to draw another line. So just the left of this. Um, I want to just draw a line about uh, a quarter of an inch down, quarter to half an inch, there or thereabouts. And I'm going to just draw a line there like that. And I also, um, no, that one's all right. And now I'm going to take all these layers here, except the very back one, and I want to trim them down. So. Why I say that is, this is going to be a flap, and I don't want this to catch in here, so probably easier to turn that backwards, and then 
you'll see what I'm saying. So I'm going to take, sorry, this first layer here like that. So you can see. And um, I have gone through the the wider bit, you know, that bit there, the, the gusset bit. But obviously you're not going to cut through the back there. So you need to just go um, around. And this is why I say doing it with your scissors, you've got more control this way to see what you're doing. All right, so I've got it there. And now I'm going to just take that round the back a bit. This is a fiddly thing, but we'll get there in the end. Right, and then uh, I've just angled that one and I'll just cut that one down. All right, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I've taken the front bit off um, and I've left the back bit on. Now, just to tidy up that little bit there, um, again, I'm going to just take my scissors and I'm just going to cut off the ridgy bits. I'm probably better. I prefer to draw a line so that I keep it neat. Neat as I can. There we go. Just give me a nice guide. And then we can trim that off as well. Now don't worry too much about the neatness because we will cover that bit. Um... So there we go. That's what you've got there. And you can see now you've got about a half an inch gap between the two. All right. Okay, so that's that's going to be a pocket in there. That we're going to glue down. Um, and then we're going to carry on from there. All right. So how good is that? I hope, hope that you've got that. So you've got that bit there. You've turned it down. We've cut it off. And that's where we are. So I'm going to now glue this top one down so I want this to be my flap so I'm just putting glue um, on the top bit here just to close this up and make sure I get it on the edge here as well I do like using paper bags they're my second most favorite thing to work with after envelopes and so again, especially with the gussets and things or flat bags, just so many opportunities. I do love them. Right, so that one's stuck down there now. And now you can see we've got this bit here with the gusseted bit. All right, so, so far so good. All right, on the back here, um, you can stick this flap down. This one down. Let's do that. You can stick that down there all right so there we go now now we've got you can see you've got your concert or the gusseted pocket there you've got your flap at the back and we've got this long piece now what i want to do is just fold this bit with the opening here i want to just fold that up like that um, all right and now we can just go up there so ultimately We've got a little pocket in there. You turn it down, you've got a writing spot or a pocket you can make here. You've got a surface here you can write or make more pockets. We've got a little pocket in there and we've got our little flap at the back. All right, so when you, um, oh, that little bit needs to glue down as well. All right, so when you close that up, you'll have a nice little pocket that we could fit onto our journal page like that. All right, now we're gonna transform this by covering it. So <laughs> let's do that. Okay, so I've got this all open now. We're gonna stick some goodies on here really quickly. There's no sewing involved. So I've got a piece of that lace cream paper. I'm going to just get that stuck down. Now I have sized this just using my pencil and my ruler um, and you know how to do that so I, I pre-cut these all out this bit here is going to go onto this bit over here so I want to just turn that around and get that close up there now you can see that I am trying to stay away from the fold lines 
so there you go that one is going to go there and then um, you could write on this so it could be like a secret journaling spot or um, I've just taken a scrap from one of the pages you'll see that I'm, I'm using this is from the mini pages and I'm going to just put that over there I'm going to have a pocket on the side so let's just put some glue on the three sides here and stick that down like that so there we go first one done right over here I took a mini page that's just part of it I think it was um, a part of the top here and this is a mini page as I said and I've cut out a piece to cover that bit there so I'm going to stick that down and I don't think I'm going to have any pockets on here because I love the colors of, of this particular page and they match up with the page opposite so really quick and easy there these would make great little happy mail gifts or just gifts for people that you are looking to spoil you know or swap or anything like that so i do like quick and easy little gifts right i think i need to put a little bit be a little bit better with the glue skills here there we go all right so there's that one um then for the top here I've cut out two pieces of the um, polka dot and it was a scrappy bit. You know I print on all the sheets of paper that I've messed up <laughs> or the printer's decided to stop or whatever, it, you know, all those reasons. So um, I use them and print on the other side for myself because you don't want to be wasting the paper. Right, so we've got that one down there, and I'm happy with that. I just want to, again, I just want to make sure I get this nicely flattened. And again, I'm standing, staying away from that fold line. So you've still got your pocket there. You have got that there. That's great. Right, um, and now let's do the front bit. So we've got our front bit here. Let's just get that nice and burnished. And really quick and easy again and a different mini page so um i'm trying to look for the other piece of this i think i've cut it up <laughs> but it's got another flower like that on the side and the mini pages are great for these sorts of projects that's why i like using them a lot but guys remember you can use absolutely any paper you have even magazines remember i did that bit with green beans and green beans never look so good in fact most of you didn't even know it what well, they were green beans so that was funny but yeah I, I did surprise myself with that one all right so we can get that nice and stuck down all right not far to go now i uh, just got my little die cut here from my delicate leaves and of course we need a little sentiment every flower is a soul blossoming in nature Gerard de, de Neval I think you must be Dutch or from Belgium right so we'll just get this stuck down ever so quickly and these are always and I really should have just put the glue down but you know I can chat to you while I'm doing this there's only the one <laughs> right um I hope you're all having a great uh, weekend. We've had the Jubilee weekend. It's the last day today. And I've been having a wonderful time walking every day this week. Um, most of them with my um, children and the dog, Abby. And Abby has really enjoyed herself. Uh, she has passed out every evening because we've taken walks, anything from 30 minutes to an hour and a quarter which was yesterday oh, gosh I was bushed after that but gosh how lovely to just get back into the walking which I do love and um, yeah Abby slept <laughs> from when we got home um, until the next day or uh, she'd had her dinner and this was after five so you know it stays light yet till nearly 10 o'clock at night now so you know you can get lots done we didn't go out that late but you know she just slept from eight o'clock onwards right so there's our little bit over there um and now we just want to do this front flap here so i'm going to put a polka dot 
paper on again. Um, I do like the polka dots. And I will be putting together a kit with a couple of them for you guys. So have a look out for that in the coming weeks. Um, right, so we've got that there. Like that, so that's great. Now you could always sew um, on these flaps or wherever really, but um, I'm not doing that today. All right, so we're gonna just put on a piece of lace here quickly. So I just want to use my Fabri-Tac. So I'm just gonna open that up and we'll get that on here. So we'll, we'll just get that nicely down there and then get that stuck on that side and then just line that up a little bit there there we go all right so we can just trim that off a little bit there and a little bit here oops right I've cut a little bit off the side there what am i like there we go okay so nothing like a bit of distress ink just to cover those sort of things up. I think it covers a multitude of sins on <laughs> distress ink. There we go. It's all part of the antique look. Okay, right. Um, I think I might just put that on that side then. A little flower, paper flowers. I got these from eBay um, a while back, but they're still available and mulberry flowers paper flowers and i do love them so i'm going to just stick there and i have used them a lot in this project um so it sort of follows through on a theme right so we've got that there we've got it all together now i'm quite liking how that's come together just put a bit of ink on the back there and you can ink or not ink that is the question that's personal isn't it Right, um, so we've got our little pocket there. Now, I have taken these little Velcro dots. I mean, it lies pretty flat, but if you want, these are really useful. And I'm not a magnet. Um, I'm not good with magnets. So <laughs> I've been shown, and it's just, I don't know what's wrong with me with magnets. But, yeah, I don't win with them. So I'm just going to take these quickly. And I'm looking for the other side of this, which is the fluffy side. There it is. I mean, I bought these ages ago. There's a thousand in here. I'll, be, I'll use these for the rest of my life, I'm sure. Um, and then it's just really easy to do that. And that's just going to keep it down. Okay, so let's grab our page then. I'm going to be mindful of my spine edge here. And I'm going to draw my little lines. And that's it. I'm going to keep it closer to this side, I think. So, yeah, I think that's about it. And let's draw it here. I just do that so that when I flip it over, I don't have to worry other anything other than getting it to the line. It just gives me, takes the stress out of it. Especially when you're using old glitter glue. However, I did just pick up the fabric tag, which is fine. So you're going to get that down on three sides. You can stick it down on all sides. And now, as I said, it's just a case of getting it to the line. And now I know it's going to be straight. So that's my answer to that one. Okay, while well, that's doing its thing, I'm going to... Loved making that project. I'm going to use that a lot. Um... So I think we could make another one and put that in our other signature as well. So um, how cute is that? And it's picking up all those gorgeous colours. And then we just want to put some bits and pieces in here. So first place, let me move that up a bit. Um, I've got these bits come from my ephemera kit, the ephemera and, and sentiments. So I've just backed them onto backing paper. Um, this I'm putting on there. No, I'm trying to keep it flat, so I haven't put any um, sort of uh, ribbons or anything. I've got this lovely one here. Beautiful. Also back that on. 
and I'm going to just put that in there and this has got like a little bit of an accordion thing going on so you've got lots of space to put things in there so just put that one in there and then I've got this one as well which is also um, and I'm going to put that one I think just in there and again you've got space over there so what have I done now oh uh, the card went too far down <laughs> turn it the other way <laughs> all right there we go we've got that better um we've got that one in there and then uh, i'm going to close that up so that's still nice and flat you've got to love a secret spot don't you and then i've taken this beautiful um altered postcard of mine um and i've just added that faux silk ribbon just to pick up on the teals and colors um and i'm going to just slide that in the back over there like that and there we go that's our little project for this morning how easy was that and doesn't it look stunning all right everyone go and do your roast dinner or go and have a lovely um bit of time in the garden or a lovely walk i think i'm gonna have another walk today but not quite as long as yesterday my legs are, t are suffering but you know i'm going to persevere right uh, lovely to spend time with you guys as always um i look forward to seeing you again on tuesday have a great time this week um and may hope that includes crafting i'll see you guys all very soon thank you so much Bye bye